Good morning. Welcome to another Monday morning coffee with Melissa. I'm your host, Melissa. Cheers. Okay, today's topic I love because I can totally resonate with this right now in my life. Well, most of the time in my life, but especially now. This came from my very good friend. Shout out to my friend Jerry Foote who I love and adore, and he has the greatest family, um, adorable kids, loving wife. Um, anyways, Jerry has given me a bunch of suggestions for Monday morning coffee. He's a big fan, so um, thank you, Jerry. Cheers to you, Jerry. Um, anyway, so this topic is start with the end in mind, and I love this because this is what I teach my coaching clients whether we're doing health coaching or personal training is like, okay, like start with your why first. Okay. Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to become healthier? Why do you, whatever goal it is, why do you want to do that? Okay, great. Let's focus on the end goal. What's the end goal at this time? Like, what do you want it to look at? Like paint a picture, tell me what it's going to look like. What's your health and fitness going to look like? Are you going to feel more relaxed, you know, because you're not going to have an, as much anxiety? Are you, are you going to be more productive? Are you going to be more, um, be able to give more to your family, like emotionally, mentally, physically, you know, all that stuff. Are you going to be able to do all that? Like, what's that look like? Okay. Now hold that picture in your mind and visualize it and really feel the feelings of having that. Feel the feelings of already being in there. Feel the feelings of, you know, having that job that you want or having those days daily where you have more energy and you are more productive. You know, you're running the kids around or, you know, you're getting up and you're doing your yoga and you're doing your CrossFit workout or whatever workout you do. You're going to work and you're just like kicking ass at work and you're just doing an amazing job, focus on that. And then once you really get those feelings, this may not happen right away, but the how will come to you. The how you're going to get to your goal will come to you. Just keep the end focus in mind because you get what you focus on. Um, good or bad. It doesn't matter. So I want you to think about like, what are you visualizing in your head? Like, what is it? Are you like, okay, I set this goal. I really want this. I really want to lose weight and I really want to, you know, ease my anxiety. I want to have more energy, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know how to do it. Oh my God. I just can't see how I'm going to do it. Don't focus on that. Focus on the end in mind. So one really fun project that Scott and I are working on right now is we are buying a Mercedes Sprinter van, four wheel drive. We're buying it empty and we're going to build it out like a camper van. And it's really like a stretch for us. It's really out of our comfort zone, uh, but we're really like, all right, why do we want to do this? And what's the end product look like? What's it look like? What's our life going to look like when we have this and it's done? Well, you know, and doing that, it's like, okay, what do we need to take to get there? How much money do we need to save? Okay, we need to save X amount of dollars. Okay, great. We're both excited about it. We're like, yes, we have a goal in mind. How are we going to get there? Well, we already sort of have a plan in place. And then we just have faith that the rest of the how will come to us you know, and it'll just show up and we'll be like, ah, but the main thing is to really focus on the end in mind, especially when you have those setbacks because you will have them. And this is what I tell my coaching clients too. Like you're going to have setbacks, you know, you're going to have days where you're, where you're feeling a little off, you know, life's happening. You had something pop up in your life. I just had a current coaching client. Um, she was doing really, really great. And then all of a sudden, bam, she got some hit with something, you know, a family thing. 
and she was just kind of like taken back a little bit with life and just kind of like thrown off course and got derailed a little bit. And it's like, okay, now let's kind of talk through like what you can do to get back on track. And, um, because she has such a strong why and her, she's focusing on the end goal, getting healthier, leaning up, you know, losing fat and all this stuff. And it's really powerful when you just have the end goal in mind because you will de be derailed. I guarantee, I promise you, especially, especially if your goal is a stretch and it's like way out of your comfort zone, you're going to get derailed, guaranteed. But that's just the way it goes. So anyways, um, really just, I just encourage you to really just focus on, focus on the end in mind, you know. Uh, this has really helped me in the past and it's really helping me now with my goals. So anyway, if you want to learn more about this, I'm more than happy to really work with you um, individually on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, I am launching, um, hopefully um, pretty soon in June, we'll be launching our um, official online Honeybee Wellness Mental Abundance Program, which is phenomenal. I'm so excited about it. Um, I've recruited Scott to jump in and help me uh, finish up, wrap up, you know, finishing up the program because I'm so excited and, and I just want to get this launched because I just feel, I feel so strongly in my heart that it's going to help a lot of people and that's what I want. So um, anyways, thank you, Jerry, for the suggestion. I love it and um, love you, Jerry. Love your family. And um, anyways, cheers. We'll see you uh, next Monday.